What's up guys? It's your boy Kazaris back with another fun little deck profile and today we have Blue Eyes Aliens. Uh, I know that sounds strange, but trust me there are a lot of moving parts that actually flow pretty well together. So we have the brand new Alien Ammonite card here, which is a level 1 tuner, very similar to Junk Synchron. Uh, when you normal summon it, uh, you special summon a level 4 or lower alien monster from your graveyard and it is destroyed during the end phase. So it is a level 1 tuner, keep that in mind. We also have the White Stone of Ancients here. If you don't know what this does by now, during the end phase, if it's been to, sent to the graveyard this turn, you can special summon a Blue Eyes monster from your deck. And additionally, you can banish it from your graveyard to target a Blue Eyes in your graveyard and add it to your hand. A uh, very good card, level 1 tuner as well. That's the synergy between the deck. Uh, I'll get into that as we get along. Then we have the one Dragon Spirit of White here. Now the one issue with this deck is space, so... I want to max want to maximize the cards that are very good and work well together, and then play the situational cards like the Dragon Spirit of White here. And I have the one Dawn Knight simply because it says send one light monster from your deck to the graveyard, which can either be the alien kid here, which will set up your Ammonite plays, or it can be a White Stone of Ancients to summon Dragon Spirit of White in the end phase, something like that. Uh, so I just I had like one spot. I figured it was like a decent connecting piece, and I wanted to try it out. Uh, I have the one overlay alien overlord here. I'm not too sure how I feel about this card yet. Uh, it's searchable off of your A, or a combination device, uh, however, the majority of the time you'll be searching Ammonite if you don't have it already. So, I'm not sure I, how I like the Overlord here. It's it's decent. Like, if I have it with the A-Cell recombination device already, then it's good because it's the free special summon. But uh, if I don't, I don't know. It, it hasn't really bricked with me yet, but I also haven't played a ton of games with this deck. So, moving on, we have the two alien kit here. It is a light level 4 alien, which will be used with... Ammonite to summon your Golgar here, and I'll explain Golgar later. So the two alien, it's the only one that is a light, um, so it pairs well with the deck. And then the two blue eyes here, so I was thinking about cutting it to one, but I have it at two for now, it's decent. Uh, you want you want summon the deck, even if you draw them, because you want to be able to summon them with White Stone of Ancients. So I figured I would have two actual blue eyes and one Spirit of White. Maybe I might switch, switch the ratios later, but we'll see. Uh, and then the one alien Shock Trooper here. So it's the normal alien, it's not very good, it's a 1900 beater, but it's important because it's normal and it's an alien. So that's really all it does, it has a lot of synergy with the deck through this card, Mausoleum of the of White. So this is the big piece that ties everything together. So it reads, during your main phase you can normal summon a level 1 light tuner in addition to your normal summon or set. So that would be either A, Alien Ammonite, or B, White Stone of Ancients. It's not exclusive to Blue Eyes cards, so Alien Ammonite fits in well with it. And then additionally, once per turn, you can target a face-up monster you control, and then send a normal monster from your hand or deck to the grave, and if you do, the targeted monster gains attack and defense equal to the level of the monster you sent times 100. And then if it dies, you can search for a stream of destruction, but that's irrelevant. Um, so with the deck, you can send, you can normal summon something like White Stone of Ancients, and then send Alien Shock Tro Trooper to the graveyard, and then additionally normal summon Alien Ammonite, special summon the Shock Trooper back from your grave, and then you can summon Golgar, and then Golgar's effect reads... Once per turn, you can select any number of face-up spell or trap cards, return them to the hand, and distribute eight counters among monsters on the field equal to the number of cards returned. Then once per turn, you can remove two A counters from anywhere on the field to destroy a card your opponent controls. Both of those effect targets, effects target, uh, it's old text, so it doesn't specify that. I'm not sure why they didn't update it, but the, both effects do target. But Mausoleum being a field spell is fodder for your Golgar effect after you, you summon Alien Ammonite with it. So very good card there. And then your three A-Cell recombination device, uh, what brings aliens together? It's a foolish burial for Ammonite, and then on the turn, the following turn, after it's sent to the grave, you can banish it to search any alien from your deck. So that be uh, that's Overlord or another Am Ammonite, or your first Ammonite if you don't have one yet. Um, and then the one Treacherous here. So Treacherous is just a great card. They didn't hit it on the list, so I'm going to play it. Um, but that's the deck there. And then moving on to the extra deck, you have the one Vermilion Dragon Mech, because you have level 1 tuners, and... Blue Eyes level 8 cards, so Vermilion Dragon next fits very well. Uh, and then also, I should mention that you don't always have to go into Golgar with Ammonite, because it's still just a level 1 generic tuner. So if you have a level 8, you can summon back an alien, uh, you can summon back Alien Kid with Ammonite, and then go into Vermil Vermilion Dragon Mech, and then pop a card you put in control. So that's a cool play, so that's 3k with beatdown and a 1600 monster, so that can be 46, that could be an OTK right there. Um, then you have the one Armades, so when you don't want to, when you can't go into Golgar, you can go in our Armades with Kid and Stone. Like, you can normal summon Kid, Mausoleum, and summon Stone, and summon Armades, and then end phase Stone summon one of the big boys. So, decent plays there. 
um, or you, we can do the same thing with Dawn Knight. Then you have the one starter's charge for when I can go into Ammonite, or sorry, Ammonite into Golgar, and then use Golgar's effect, utilize him, and then normal summon a Stone of Ancients, and then make starter's charge, draw another card, maybe draw like one of the combinations of Treacherous here, and then trigger White Stone of Ancients in the end phase. So pretty cool plays overall. Uh, I was thinking about cutting one Golgar, maybe I haven't found myself making two, really. But for now, it's fine. You can play a level 7 Synchro to make with Overlord, maybe like uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon to destroy Mausoleum, gain a thousand, and then search another one. I don't know. Some some options there, but I'm still messing around with the ratios, but I wanted to show you guys this fun deck that I've been working on. So let's get into some duels. So we're up against a Sartorius Kumar. Uh, if you guys watched my last video, I played another Sartorius in that one. So it's probably the FTK that's been running around with the new card, the Hangman. So what it does is if you get Tails, you can target a monster on your opponent's side of the field, destroy it, and inflict damage equal to its attack to your opponent. So their whole plan is stall until they have the Hangman card. Um, and then since it's a 50-50 chance to get the effect, they play the skill Reversal of Fate. So that way they can, if they don't get it the first try, they can use Reversal of Fate and just switch the coin flip effect. Um, and then they'll play boosting attack cards like the Axe of Despair and Backup Rider to make sure my monster hits 4,000 attack and then use the Hangman's effect to deal 4,000. But it's six samurai, so all that whole spiel was pointless. Uh, so we have a decent hand here. Um, we can... So I'm not worried about dual wield because I'm only going to commit the alien kid. Yeah. So I'm going to A-cell right here. Send another alien kid to the graveyard yeah send another alien kid to the graveyard normal summon my own so now he'll be reduced by 1200 attack um, so i'm assuming there's a dual wields face down yep it's probably all dual wields face down but we only have one monster on the field or one card on the field so he can't dual wield us so successfully played around that um, in the next turn we'll be able to search alien ammonite and summon golgar or armades depending on the situation it's going to summon Fuma. Probably going to crash into... Oh, no, he has Legendary Secret. Okay. Um, hmm, interesting. So unfortunately with Ammonite, we have to commit two monsters. This stinks. Oh, well. Fortunately, Alien Kid puts a counter on every, any special summon monster. So Sheehan's going to get one counter here. I don't know. I don't think that's enough, unfortunately. Um, we need to draw our third A cell next turn. That would be broken. We'll see here. Top deck. Ooh, top decking mausoleum. So we can try and bait him. Let's see what he does here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use A cell first in the grave. What do I want to search? So, three options here. So, Overlord can't be summoned because we only have one counter on the field. Um, Ammonite can be summoned, but as soon as we summon the alien kid from the grave, we're just going to get um, dual wielded. However, we have the mausoleum afterward. I'm going to use A cell here, bait the negation. Yeah. Bait the negation. Haha. <laughs> this is the play, boys. Now I can mausoleum. Normal summon ammonite. Additional. Summon kid. Now he has the chance to dual wield here. However, he should just be dual wielding on the kid and the ammonite, but then the turn then afterwards I can use my second normal summon to summon ammonite again and attempt to do it again. I'm a kid in defense. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, dual wield here. He's dumb. He's thinking. So kid and ammonite. Okay. Let's try it again. Ammonite into kid. Like at worst, we're just getting resources back to our hand. So unfortunately, we're not going to have any aliens in our grave to use with Ammonite next turn. So we're going to be taking 25 to the face. However, we will get another search with um, with A-Cell. 
Oh, he's not going to do anything here. So just in case, I'm going to get... I'm going to get Golgar into the grave. Or not Golgar. Uh, Shock Trooper into the graveyard. Just for the following turn. Uh, I'm just going to go into Golgar here. No reason. It's just going to get bounced anyway. Because he obviously has a second dual wield face down. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about that. I'm so happy we got Golgar. This is such a cool synchro. This is one of my favorite just designed synchros. It's just so cool. So we're just going to play the Mausoleum again because we don't want to... Because he already uses Shia Negate this turn, so we don't want to hold it in our hand. There's no reason to. Hopefully he just doesn't draw... Uh, Fuma is the only monster he can draw, and we're going to live. And we live from. So hopefully he doesn't draw anything but Fuma here. We'll see. He was set, so he probably do the Fuma. Probably just better setting it. That's correct. I feel like he has the third, um, third dual wield face down, which is honestly fine. So we can search our second Ammonite here. I think he caught on. Yeah, I think I feel like he caught on. Oh, I can reborn Ammonite. Interesting. A reborn the kid doesn't matter. We just want to level four. No, nothing. Um, summon Armades here because there's no delay apparently. Interesting. Uh, now we're able to summon alien kid here. I don't think I want to do that though. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I just want a mausoleum. We have all the blue eyes in our hand, unfortunately, but I just want to give my Armadies an attack boost here because the blue eyes aren't doing anything in our hand. Let's think about maybe like you can't fit Cosmo Brain in the deck, unfortunately. Like that's what you're sacrificing to play the alien engine. Um, so the blue eyes are kind of useless in your hand, so I might cut one of them. Just have the two targets. There's Anishi and Fuma. Right? Fuma face down? Yep. Crap, he can use Anishi's of it. Well, can't stop. He top decked better than I did. That's unfortunate. Um, like, I could have summoned the kid and then boosted the kid with the mausoleum and then it would have been able to clear Xi'an and I could have cleared the Fuma with Armades but I just felt like that back row it wasn't chainable so it was probably something to do with battle like maybe drowning but I felt like it was a wall of D so if I tried to attack with kid it would have been pointless so that's unfortunate he top deck Anishi there top deck to level 4 even like it had to be Anishi like because he without the bounce he wouldn't be able to kill me that turn and then the following turn I would have had an alien kid summon with a boost from mausoleum Liam so I don't know. Definitely just came down to his top deck there, which kind of stunk. Top deck Fuma and then Anishi, which is pretty good. Oh, rank down. Dang it. Let's get into another one here. All right. AG, hopefully. Or maybe just beat down Crowler. You never know. Could just be a bluff AG. Going second. That's it's solid. Get that extra card. Hand is okay. I prefer to draw an alien. Oh, excuse me. Prefer to draw an alien with this hand, or just level four to make our mateys, or yeah, to make our mateys with the stone, and then get an end phase summon. So it is AG. So wyvern. Come on, my dude. Adding reactor, so our normal summon on the following turn will give him the fuel for reactor. 
huh. That's neat. Ooh, this is cool. I can reset the castle. This is why we play the Shock Trooper boys. For this exact reason. Ammonite effect. Special Shocky Shock. Unlock the Shock. Summon Golgar. Special Golgar in attack. Activate effect. We're going to bounce our mausoleum and uh, his castle. Reset the castle's counter. I'm going to place the counters on the wyvern here. I'm going to reactivate this. We are off. No, we're not. We can. Oh, since we bounced mausoleum, we can use its boosting effect again. Nice. That's cool. I use Golgar to pop the Wyvern. I'm going to activate Mausoleum. Target this boy. Send the blue eyes. Activate Beatdown. We have an 1800 attack stone. <laughs> wow, look at that OTK. And next turn, he had the castle reset, so he wouldn't have been able to summon a reactor without destruction effect in Gear Town. That was cool. Good plays. Golgar is lit. It can also be used with um, Buster Whelp, now that I think about it. Maybe I'll try Buster Blader Alien. LOL. Nah. Using a secondary effect is what makes it so good. Especially in this deck, because you can Foolish Burial the an alien, and then make use of the ammonite as soon as you draw it. So you're playing six foolish burial in the deck between a cell and the three mausoleum. Um, I was thinking about Neo's fusion as well, but I just wanted to try. And f oh, excuse me, I just wanted to try and find something other than Neo's fusion for once. And mausoleum just kind of came to me, just like an aha moment. Why is, what the? I think he meant to set that. There's no way he actually. There's no way he actually meant to use that. I think he meant to set it. That's unfortunate. So this is gonna be light and dark. Um. So you have the A cell, which will search as ammonite on the next turn. Um. Just going to set and set. Yeah. So it looks it appears to be battle traps. And not mass chain. Unless he had his toggle off, there was nothing to chain at my end phase there. So it's not cyclone, not not um, mass change. Maybe eek. No, if he's it's can't probably not econ if he's playing heroes. Probably a celestial and econ's place. Um, it's going to end. So I'm going to just a cell recombination here, so that I can search on the following turn. Um, I'm going to keep the Shock Trooper in the deck just for a potential mausoleum usage. No drawing, blue eyes, it's fine, I guess. Searching. I could search the Overlord too. <clears throat> I'm going to search the Overlord, bait some back row, see what's going on here. Now a level two or level seven synchro would have been pretty useful here. Nothing really. Uh, I can't get two summons off of Dawn Knight or off of Stone, so there's no reason to summon Dawn Knight here, unless I'm trying to resolve two Stone. Armadies, gonna get stone effect in the end phase. Beat down. Armadies is going to attack first. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Still game regardless. I don't think I'm gonna get drowning tier. That's fine. Wall disruption, that's also fine. 1200. Yep. If I attacked with um, Overlord, Overlord first, uh, I would have lost 16. He would have been at 12. Decider still would have lost 9, so it would have been at 700, so. 
It's sort of been fine, but <clears throat> I'd just prefer to attack with Armades to guarantee clear it. I'm going to resolve a Dragon Spirit of White here. Banish that one. So he had two wall disruptions. This final one is also a wall disruption. That would be unfortunate because. Oh, nobody's just going to scoop it up. There we go. Nice. Let's do one more. Alright, Mako. SSA, maybe it's just balance, Mako. Nope, Mythic Depths, okay. Nice water deck. I think that's the next deck I'm going to put out for you guys, a Mermel deck. Um, I love water monster mashup decks. Just like 20 card, all monster water decks. Very fun. We have OTK. And on a high note here. Effect. Unlock the shock. Ammunition. Ammonite. He has Dragon Ice. Okay, that's what I thought. He has Dragon Ice in hand. Uh, I wish. Oh, he's not going to do it here. Nice. Um, so then. Hmm. I know he has Dragon Ice because Dragon ice there was a delay. So. I think I make Armades with the stone. That way I get stone effect right away in the end phase. Instead of making Golgar with the Ammonite. Because then stone's just sitting on the field and not getting me any advantage. So I know he's going to pop whatever I summon. So I'm just going to use the stone. Summon Armades. Let Armades get popped. Oh, no. Okay. What was the delay? Then? I'm confused. Alright. So attack for 31, I guess. And then banish the Umi in the end phase. And then I have Spirit of White's other effect also. That's pretty cool. Finish that, so no SSA to worry about. Uh, now he's gonna Dragon Ice. Why did he not? I guess he just thought it wasn't game, so there's no reason to do it. Oh, and now he's just, okay. So now it's just gonna be on field for next turn. That makes sense. Okay. I just thought he would have infantry with it, so he'd be able to discard infantry and pop whatever I summon. Now he'll have a level seven synchro play, or if he summons Diva into Diva, then he has the Garion Quandrax play. Okay, no. Just gonna summon Abyss Soldier. What's he gonna bounce? Please, Target Spirit. <laughs> okay. Don't have to worry about SFA. Because I banished Daumi. So it is a non factor at this point. Now he's gonna be able to sit at a whale. Okay, he's just gonna scoop it up. And there you have it, boys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I will probably be doing, like I was saying, a water monster mash mermail synchro deck. I'm not sure how to build it yet. There are so many ways to build it. I might just do multiple different ones, um, but uh, expect that one next. I will catch you guys later. Peace.